when they're freshmen, they come by and they touch the columns in, during their first few days here. Uh, at freshman convocation, which is sort of the opening welcoming ceremony for all the freshmen and their families, the next time they're going to see those columns is when they graduate at Husky Stadium. So they're sort of the bookend symbols for their college career. Graduation history runs deep. Back in 1861, the UW was known then as the Territorial University of Washington. Graduation was the goal. Recruiting students was a bigger challenge. There were no students, no, no, really no college level students. The first president of the university, Asa Mercer, hired a couple of Indians, got in a canoe, and canoed up and down Puget Sound from Bellingham to Olympia, visiting logging camps to get students. It's sort of symbolic of that idea of, you, of setting a star high goal, you know, for, for the graduates, I think. We had a university here in the most unlikely of circumstances, six months into the Civil War, but here it is. The school struggled at first, closing three times, but 15 years later, with the courage and strength of founding members, the UW had its first graduate, Clara Antoinette McCarty Wilt, earning a bachelor's degree in science. This year, more than 5,000 students will walk in commencement, earning degrees from 180 majors the UW offers, and taught by some professors who've won prestigious awards like the Pulitzer and the Nobel Peace Prize. Find out about the professors that are here. Find out about their accomplishments. Find out about the, the, uh, the research that's going on here that is just changing, literally changing the face of the, of the planet. It's an amazing collection of people that have been brought together in one place that, that's very rare to find. We don't know what the ratings are. And the UW has graduated a myriad of celebrities. In 1995, Joel McHale, star of NBC's Community and the host of The Soup on the E! Network, earned a bachelor's degree in history and later a master's in acting. And let's not forget about Tom Foley, former Speaker of the House. Or what about musician Kenny G? All pillars of the community. And the future even looks brighter. Rebecca Hansen won't graduate for two years. She knows it will be an honor. People's faces light up, and um, I know I feel that same sense of sort of pride when I'm talking about going here. And I, I think about, you know, finally having my degree in hand and how that will just be, I, I don't know, it'll be a great sense of personal accomplishment, but, you know, I'll just, I'll feel even a greater sense of that community of people that love this school so much. We invariably hear from them, I'm so glad I came, it was a great day. It's a, a memory I'll cherish for a lifetime. And that's really what we're trying to create, is a, is a, a moment that will last a lifetime. And, uh, and it does.